Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another what to eat on my WW personal plan. Um, it is after Christmas. I am up in weight a little bit, but I know that's a little bit of bloat. Um, I will post my recent weigh in here after Christmas um, and my birthday, actually. I did gain. I think one point something, which is totally fine. Um, I, I wanted to maintain, but honestly, through the whole month of Christmas or the whole month of December, I think I stayed the same or like I basically maintained and that's fine. That's essentially what I wanted to do. So today is a get back on track day. I need to drink more water. Um, I just want to get feeling good again. I just feel a little bit bloated from everything. Um, my Christmas stuff is still up. I need to clean my house. It is a disaster. I just have a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, it is snowing again and I'm just so over the snow. But um, my husband's home. He is out shoveling. Um, I think we're going to skip breakfast this morning because it's a little bit late. So we're probably just going to have lunch. So I will see you guys back for lunch time. Alright guys, so here is lunch. I have some grapes. I have some peppers and snap peas for zero points. Um, my dill pickle hummus, of course, because it's been my favorite lately. And then over here I have a toasted everything bagel for six points. I have one points worth of whipped Philadelphia cream cheese on there. I also put a, a slice of tomato, um, some pepper, and some herb and garlic sea salt. So lunch is only nine points. Technically it's eight because I gain back a point for my veggies, but I'm trying not to eat those um, points back for this week. So anyways, nine points for lunch and then we'll see you guys back when I eat next. Alright guys, so I'm a little bit hungry so I just made myself a snack. Um, I was craving a salad and I had some leftover shredded chicken from the other night that I needed to use. Two cups worth of veggies so technically I'd gain the two points back but like I said before I'm trying not to eat those points. I have two points worth of ranch and then two points worth of chicken breast. What I did to cook that was I put it in the crock pot with some of my Epicure um, crispy lettuce wraps I think they're called. I just used the seasoning from that and just put it on high for about three hours. There's not enough on there to count as a point, so I'm just counting two points. Um, and then I added some of the smoky roasted tomato nutritional yeast topper. I'm counting zero for this as well because I hardly use any. So this is a four point salad. Technically it'd only be two points, but um, this will put me at 13 points for the day. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll see you guys when I eat next. So it is 7.30, I've not been able to pop on since my snack. Um, we had to go out to the storage unit and just do a few things. We ended up getting stuck in the snow, so we had to shovel ourselves out. Um, so it's been a long day. Um, I got my activity in. Um, I have 40 minutes of activity. I'm at my step goal and I'm at my stand goal. No, I need two more hours of standing because I um, up my goal to 12 hours, I think. Um, so, I mean, the good thing about getting stuck is I got my um, steps in and my activity in. So that's a plus, I guess. I'm about to cook dinner. We're gonna have the beef and broccoli stir fry by Epicure with some rice. Um, I'm, I haven't had this one yet and I'm excited to try it because it looks delicious and I figured my husband would like it as well. So I think it's gonna be like four points for like the beef and the broccoli and like the sauce. So that's awesome. I. I just like Epicure because it's low in sodium, no GMO, just real foods and good for you food. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of my video, but I am an Epicure rep now. I decided to join. Um, I use their products on a daily basis, so I figured, you know what, why not just share why I love Epicure and share how I use their products. Um, just a quick lowdown, I'll post like their uh, business model here, but I just love it because it's low in sodium, no GMO, it's gluten free, low in sugar, and they don't use additives, and for me, that's a big plus. A lot of the products uh, for the WW plan is either zero points or very low in points, and I just love that. So anyways, I am going to go ahead and cook dinner because I'm starving, and then we'll see you guys when I eat next.
So I have dinner here. I have three points worth of Uncle Ben's rice. It's only half a cup, but I feel like it's still enough. Um, and then I have the Epicure beef and broccoli stir fry. Um, this is the first time I've tried it and it's actually really good. So the stir fry itself with the beef and the sauce and everything is um, four points. So this whole dinner is seven points. So I think I have about a cup's worth of broccoli. So technically I would gain a point. So this would only be six points total. I'm gonna eat this and we'll see you guys back for snack time. So here's my snack. I have five points worth of air pop popcorn. I put in one point's worth of light butter just to cook that in the microwave. And then I have nutritional yeast on there for one point. I used a little bit of spray olive oil to keep the nutritional yeast on top of the popcorn. So this is a seven point snack. So it'll bring me up to 27 out of 26 points for the day. I just finished my popcorn, had some more water and we're gonna head to bed soon. So I figured I'd close out the video. Today was a really good day. I am at 27 out of 26 points, which I'm totally fine with. And technically I would be under because of my veggie points, but like I said, and I keep saying in this video, I'm not tracking, or I'm tracking my veggies, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to eat those points just for this week. Um, so yeah, I hope weighing goes really well this week. I've been off and on, not like 100%, but we will see how weigh in treats me. So obviously I'm hoping to lose a little bit more weight and you know, get more active. I haven't worked out in a while. Um, so let's just hope that this year is a good year for that. That being said, um, I look back at my journey and I'm very proud of where I have come from and where I am. Um, I'm not my thinnest or my leanest that I've been, but at the same time, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm still down like 60 something pounds. Yes, my loose skin bugs me a little bit. Yes, I wish that I was back to my leanest, but at the same time, I've done pretty good and I'm very proud of myself. So, you know, I just had to keep reminding myself that I have come from, like I've come so far in this journey and I can't just, you know, put myself down and throw in the towel because I'm up a little bit in weight, if that makes sense. I feel like that's a vicious cycle for me. Um, before when I've lost weight on WW, I didn't think I was small enough or I wasn't happy or, you know, it's hard to explain. I just wasn't in the right mindset. So then I like almost reversed everything I did and gained my weight back and more. So I don't want to do that this time. So I'm trying to have a very positive mindset, which most of the days I do, but sometimes you guys know it gets to us. Sorry, I just got a message on Facebook. Anyways, I'm gonna close out this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know down below how your journeys are going. I always like to hear about that, and we'll see you guys in the next one.